Hello everyone and welcome to this video with point 55 now going on to stable and quarter 1 coming to an end it's a good time to talk about what's to come in quarter 2 and that's what the daisy development team has done this week in the status report they did also review what was done in quarter 1 but i'm not going to focus on that as much because if you watch these videos then you already know what happened in quarter 1 but let's get into what will be coming and what we can expect in quarter 2. So I thought it would be good to start off by reviewing the 2015 roadmap for the DAISY standalone development. Now keep in mind the roadmap gives us an idea of what's to come but some things will take longer than others, uh, for example the new render in quarter 1 uh, which did not make it into quarter 1 and we will talk about uh, you know when that will be coming and the kind of new date on that uh, but let's review the roadmap really quick you see there that's quarter one which is already completed uh, some of the things that were supposed to be coming in uh, did make it in others like the new render didn't make it in um, now quarter two is the one you see highlighted and then we have quarter three and quarter four if you want a more specific video uh, covering the roadmap i did upload one late 2014 and i will link that on the screen right now so you can just click the annotation and go to that video uh, but other than that let's move on and talk about quarter two and what we can look forward to in the coming months First, we're going to be starting off with vehicles. Now, of course, we do have the V3S, which was the first vehicle in the game, but more will be added. We have new vehicles on the way. Also, uh, vehicle inventory, uh, vehicle maintenance, and kind of components that will be added. You can see some of those right there uh, that were released with the status report. We do also have what could be the next vehicle here. So, as you can see, uh, that tweet was released by one of the developers and they said uh, that they got a sneak peek at one of uh, what one of the team members is working on and what we see right there is thought to be the Volga uh, which you know is a vehicle and maybe that will be the next vehicle introduced into Daisy's town loan so uh, pretty interesting stuff right there and they did also say that they will be making changes uh, to how the vehicles drive to kind of give them a more Daisy uh, you know feel and change the handling and all that stuff so of course manual transmission is also something that they, they have been working on and we could see in quarter two uh, that's about it for vehicles let's keep going and see what else we have okay and next we're talking about central economy so we saw the first implementation of this into the 0.55 stable which is on right now uh, and that's the current stable update in quarter two uh, more work will be done on this uh, they said this system is also tied into server side persistence item cleanup and proper item respawning and will be iterated upon frequently so those of you currently playing 0.55 stable and seeing some weird things don't worry there more updates will be done to the central economy system and it's not always going to be the way it currently is on stable so you can look forward to you know changes coming to this uh, hopefully for the better Okay, so let's move into a pretty big topic here, which is the new render. Everyone was kind of waiting for this, but it has been uh, delayed. There is more work to be done on it. So there was a decision uh, made to ditch DirectX 9 support uh, for the new render and move directly for, uh, to supporting DirectX 11. Uh, so they said we'll be moving forward with initial support for DirectX 11 only with DirectX 12 support following eventually uh, what that means is that windows xp will no longer be possible because it's not capable of direct x11 support so uh, rip to anyone who plays uh, daisy on a windows xp I, I couldn't imagine that that was working uh, well before but now it won't work at all after, <laughs> after the new render basically they did also say that once implemented the design team will have access to more robust and complex particle effects systems such as bleeding fires players etc will receive the proper visual attention they require volumetric fog will will be possible within the world of Ternaris and we have a new estimation uh, on the date for this uh, and the support for direct x11 and that is mid to late May 2015 so not too far from now we'll be within quarter two and we will just have to wait and see uh, what ends up happening from here uh, we do have those pictures right there unfortunately you can't make those any bigger that's just the size that they came in so uh, you can look at those even if you go on to the status report that's how small they are but let's move on and see what else we have 
At the end of quarter one, we saw the new AI for infected and animals. Uh, that was the first iteration of it in point 55, but it will receive updates through quarter two as well. Same thing pretty much goes for diseases. We saw the first implementation of them with cholera. Now it will be expanded, uh, maybe even more diseases or just a different way. Uh, then they will be transferred and cured and all that stuff. So right now, both diseases and the new AI for infected and animal is, you know, still in its first implementation, still very basic, but it will receive more uh, work in quarter two. Also, we have the advanced anti-cheat, and this is probably the best thing you're going to hear from the status report, in my opinion, and that is that over 4,000 cheaters have been banned from DayZ since the beginning of February. So. That's a pretty good amount, uh, you know, we'll hope that this continues and they did say that throughout quarter two and beyond more work will be done uh, against hackers and cheaters on Daisy standalone. So now that about sums it up for the status report, of course, uh, like I said at the beginning, what we looked at is what will be coming throughout quarter two. If you want to actually go back and see the full uh, review of what happened in quarter one and read the full status report, you can do so, link is down below. And what we're going to get to next is some uh, new things that will be coming in and that they ended up sharing with us this week. So we have a new weapon, which is the VSS, a very interesting weapon in my opinion. Uh, you can see right there, it just looks weird. I'm, I'm kind of interested in testing that one out. We do also have a barrel animation, uh, which will be used later also for carrying other heavy items. And we do have a new animation and this is the SOS waving. So you can see that one right there. Uh, in general, just pretty cool stuff. But that about sums it up for this video. I do want to thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our quarter two, uh, you know, video kind of looking ahead at what we can expect in this quarter uh, for Daisy standalone. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new, you can subscribe for more videos. Uh, I do post the status report videos just about every week. So uh, you can, you know, stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.